Hi, in this video we will explain the vector dot product. As in other vector operations, we will explain what the vector operation is good for or used for and how to achieve it. It is always important to stay focused on what are the situations that we will need certain operation for. For dot product, v1 dot v2 will produce a number. But what does that number mean? What if the number is positive? What if the number is negative? And what if the number is equal to zero? What does it mean that the dot product comes out positive? If the dot product of two input vectors, v1 and v2, is a positive number, then that means that these two vectors, v1 and v2, are going in the same general direction. If the dot product comes out negative number, then that means vector 1 and vector 2 are going into the opposite general direction. If the dot product produce 0, that means that v1 and v2 are orthogonal. This is the most common case for using the vector dot product is to test whether two vectors are going into the same general direction, the opposite direction, or if they are in fact orthogonal. There are other things that the dot product can give me as information, but the testing of the direction, the relative direction of vectors, is probably the utility number one that comes out of dot product operation. Nevertheless, it will be useful to explain the other uses of the dot product. It turns out that the dot product of two unit vectors, v1, v2, is equal to the cosine of the angle between them. Typically, a parametric environment would give tools that calculate the angle between two vectors, but you can also derive that angle by unitizing the input vectors, then calculate the dot product to get the cosine of the angle. Another useful information that you can get out of a dot product is the projection length of the shadow between two vectors. So suppose I have two units vectors, v1 and v2. It turns out that the dot product will be equal to the projection p of vector 1 over vector 2. So v1 dot v2 equal the projection length. Now back to the second question, how is the dot product is calculated? How do we achieve it? In mathematics, given two vectors v1 equals a1, a2, a3, and v2 equals v1, v2, v3, v1 dot v2 is equal Remember that the result of a dot product is a number, but in order to calculate that number, what we do, the dot operation, is we multiply corresponding components and then find the sum of the multiplication result. So it's equal to a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 plus a3 times b3, and the result is some number. This is how the dot product is calculated mathematically. In real application, parametric design applications such as Grasshopper, you don't have to perform the mathematical operation. There are designated components, as we will see, that will give you the 
dot product result straight away. Let's see how we can perform dot product in Grasshopper. Let's create two vectors. And in this case, I will interactively set a vector one and vector two using the vector parameter. As you can see that despite that we created these vectors, we cannot visualize them. And by now you already know that you need to anchor them to a point in order to be able to see them. Let's anchor to the origin. With the shift down, you can feed multiple vectors. Now these are my two vectors, vector one and vector two. And if I perform the dot product, uh, I should get some number that indicates some sort of relationship between these two vectors. The dot product between two vectors, the component, can be found under vectors dot product. Using the dot product, you can feed it the first vector and the second vector and get a number. Let's check this number. And this is the dot product between our two input vectors, v1 and v2. What we notice about this number is that it is a positive number. What does that tell me? That tells me that the two vectors are going into the same general direction. Suppose I redefine my first vector, vector 1. Now the result of the dot product is no longer positive. It's negative. And as you can see, the two vectors go into the opposite general direction. Now what happens if the two vectors are orthogonal? Let me reset the two vectors. That the first one go along the y direction and the second go along the x direction. Notice that the result of the dot product is zero. And this is because these two vectors are orthogonal. Actually, the dot product is commonly used to test whether two vectors are orthogonal. Another useful information that the dot product give me is that the dot product is equal to the cosine of the angle between two vectors. Let's find the angle between two vectors. Vector. There is a component in a grasshopper that calculates the angle between two vectors. Let's use this one. And let's feed it vector 1 and vector 2. The result, which is the angle, is calculated in radian. If we try to find the cosine of that angle, then I should get a result that is equal to the dot product. Let's just rename that to dot because that's the dot product. And this is the cosine of the angle between them. If we change those vectors, you will see that the dot will continue to be equal to the cosine of the angle between the two vectors.